Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your newsletter on Beehive step by step. Beehive is one of the best platforms for building and growing a newsletter and will guide you through setting up your newsletter from scratch. We'll use Brightlight Group as an example, but you can follow along and customize it for your brand or project. By the end of this video, your Beehive newsletter will be fully set up and ready to go. Also, if you haven't signed up for Beehive yet, you can use the link below to get a 30 day free trial and 20% off your first three months. Let's get started, shall we? First things first, if you haven't already signed up for Beehive, go to beehive.com, choose a plan and create an account. Once you're in, you see your dashboard. Here on your left hand menu, you can see your main sections. First, you've got start writing. The start writing button helps you create a new newsletter. Clicking this takes you straight into the Beehive editor where you can draft, format and schedule your emails. Then you've got posts. The post section is where all your newsletters are stored. You can see drafts, scheduled emails, and past posts you've already sent. Then for audience, in the audience section, you can see all your subscribers and their engagement. You can also create audience segments, track subscriber growth, and manage your email list. Then for grow, the grow section is all about increasing your subscriber base. Then for monetize, if you're looking to make money with your newsletter, you can use the monetize section. Then for design, this is where you customize the look and feel of your newsletter. Finally, the analyze section helps you track how your newsletters are performing. So that's a brief overview of the main sections on your left hand menu. To start customizing your newsletter, click on settings in the left hand menu, then go to general info. So that's where we are now. So this is where we'll personalize everything. The first thing you see is the publication name. This is the name of your newsletter, but you can type whatever fits your brand project. So I'm just gonna enter Bright Light Group here since that's the example we'll be using. Next, we've got the one line publication description. This should be a short tagline that explains what your newsletter is about. For this brand, we're gonna add your go-to stylish fashion finds and timeless trends. So I'm just gonna type that in. Great, now let's add some branding. Scroll down to publication logo. This logo will appear across our newsletter and website. The recommended size is 800 by 800 pixels. Let's upload one now. Great, our logo has been uploaded. Next, we've got the default thumbnail preview. This is the image that shows up when our newsletter is shared. We can upload a stylish image here that represents our brand. I'm just gonna go ahead and upload an image here. Now we've got our publication logo and our thumbnail. Next, we've got the publication tags. Tags help categorize our newsletter and make it easy for the right audience to find it. Since Bright Light Group is about fashion, we'll add tags like fashion, style, accessories. So let's do that. Excellent, so now we've got our publication tags, beauty, fashion, style. So we've got our default language, language, time zone. Then we can also change our button text. So this is for our call to action. It says subscribe here, but we can change it to shop now. Great, that's our subscribe button text now. Then down here, we've got contact access. On the content access, we've got some important options. So first we've got private publication. If enabled, only logged in subscribers can see our content. If you want our newsletter open to everyone, we'll leave this off. Next, we've got require subscriber approval. If we want to manually approve new subscribers before they join, we can enable this. Then we've got private branding. If we want to remove Beehive's branding and fully customize the look of our emails and site, we can toggle this on. This feature is available on higher tier plans like the max plan. Now you might have noticed the UTM analytics section. This is basically a way to track where your subscribers are coming from. Super useful if you're using tools like Google Analytics to measure your newsletter's performance. If that sounds a bit advanced, don't worry. You don't need to turn it on right now. But if you ever want to track how people are clicking on your links, you can come back and enable automatic UTM tagging later. It's already enabled here, so that's basically what it does. Now let's make sure our email settings are set up properly. In the settings menu, click on emails. This is where we define how our newsletter emails appear to subscribers. On the default sender name, enter the name people will see when they receive your emails. Since this newsletter is for Brightlight Group, I'll type in Brightlight Group. If you'd like to use post author name as the sender's name, you can just toggle this on. So you've got that option too. Here you can see an option for the reply to email address. Now this is important because anytime someone replies to your newsletter, this is where the responses will land. You leave it blank. Be 
beehive might just handle it in the background and you could miss out on valuable replies from your subscribers and we don't want that right so here's what to do enter an email you actually check if this is for brightlight group which is the example we're using we could say something like hello at brightlightgroup.com or even a personal email would work that way if subscribers have questions feedback or even just want to say hey i love this newsletter you actually see it now this is your reply to email address then down here you can see your email footer details then here you can see your address this is the physical address that appears at the bottom of every email you send through beehive it's actually required for email compliance so you have to add something here now, if you have a business address, for example, for Brightlight Group, you can use that. Once you enter the address, it'll automatically appear in your email footer and you're all set. So now we're in the domain section and here's where we can connect a custom website domain or set up email sending from our own domain. We have a few options here. You can connect to an existing website domain. If you already have a website for your brand, you can link it here to keep everything consistent. Now for web subdomains, if you're not using your own custom domain, this is the link your subscribers will visit to read your content. It'll look something like your news.beehive.com, but you can customize it here. Now we're gonna go to the design section. So you go to your left menu, click design, then you go to newsletter builder. So in your design section, you can see some sections on your left menu. You can see background, body text, header text, email header, email footer, buttons, content breaks, images, lists, and the rest. So I'm gonna explain each of these sections. First stop is the background section. This is the overall backdrop of your newsletter. If you want a clean and professional look, a, a solid white or light gray works well. Yeah, so this is where you can change the colors. Next, we've got your body text. So for body text, this controls how your text looks. The body text is your main content, so it should be clear and easy to read. So maybe we could go for Montserrat. Then your header text is for titles and section headings. So you might want to make it bold and stylish to grab attention. Next, you've got your email header, email footer. Your email header is what appears at the top of every email. So you can add your logo here to make it instantly recognizable. So there's an option to add your logo here. Let's just scroll down until you see select image. So here you can see select custom header image. So you can just come here and select your logo. So let's just do that now. Let's select our logo. So this is our custom header image now. The email footer is where you usually find copyright info on subscribe links or a simple tagline. For Brightlight Group, we could add something like stay stylish, timeless, and join the fashion movement. So we're just gonna come down here and add it. Here, add custom content. So once you select that, you're going to be taken to this page where you have to enable custom footer content. You can easily just toggle this on. Great. I'm going to quickly type it in. Great. Now we've included our custom footer details. So here you can preview it if you'd like to. Yeah, so I'm just going to come down here and save it. Now this is where you control how your call to action buttons will look. If you want people to click, your buttons should stand out. Here you've got your content breaks. Your content breaks are dividers that help organize your newsletter so it doesn't feel cluttered. You can use simple lines or subtle color blocks to make it visually appealing. Here you've got images. Now this lets you control how images appear on your newsletter. Then you've got lists. This shows how your items are listed. So you could use bullet points or numbered lists Let's talk about block quotes and how they can enhance our newsletter. Block quotes are perfect for drawing attention to key insights, customer testimonials, or inspiring messages. For example, if we're sharing an expert tip like great design is eliminating all unnecessary details or highlighting a customer review like this product changed the way I work, absolutely worth it. So these are some examples. We can style block quotes to match our brand by adjusting the font, color, or background, making them visually distinct. So here you can see you've got variant one, variant two, and variant three. So that's for black quotes. For embeds, as you may already know, embeds allow us to add rich media like videos, suites, and interactive content directly into our newsletter, making it more engaging. So here you can adjust how your embeds will appear in your newsletter. So here you've got font settings, border, spacing, image settings, link title, link description. You've even got the option of hiding the description 
description for hiding the URL. So you can adjust the settings here. All right, everyone, that's how you set up Beehive for your newsletter. Remember, if you haven't signed up for Beehive yet, you can use the link below to get a 30 day free trial and 20% off your first three months. Thank you for watching.